just want to do a little video all about the A-frame. We've had a little upgrade to the A-frame, so uh, I thought I'd show you that. Um, plus, uh, we always seem to have a captive audience when we're hitching up the A-frame. It doesn't seem, doesn't matter where we go, we seem to have someone who's watching us. So I thought I'd do a video uh, for anyone who wants to watch us hitching up the, the A-frame. And you'll also see how we've upgraded our A-frame. So I'm just going to run the, run the video and uh, talk you through it. So this is us going along. And one of the reasons we often take the car with us on the A-frame is because we take my mum with me. And she stays in a hotel and we use the car to ferry her to and from the hotel. Now, back in October, we went to the... No, back in February, we went to the NEC. And here we are at Summers Wood. And we met Smart Toe and they were demonstrating their new smart glide system with the telescopic legs and that makes it a lot easier to hitch up the A-frame but they'd seen our videos on YouTube and right out of the blue he, he, he said love your videos but your A-frame was a bit mucky and it was because we'd been using it for nearly sort of two and a half years then so he said how do you fancy a nice shiny one so you can film it so here we are fitting a nice shiny A-frame. I'm sticking the number plate on here. We, we hold it on with a bit of Velcro uh, and that's the, the number plate for the van as you can see because you need to do that because the car becomes a trailer. So got the bonnet up and we're opening up the towing eye. That's the towing eye that's used for recovery. If you ever have your car recovered the tow, the tow company will use that towing eye and what Smart do, Smart Tow do is they fit another towing eye on the other side. Now you fit these brackets and you screw them in. The tricky bit is just actually getting the thread started. Once you've got it started, you turn it around, keep turning. And it was these were, as you can see, they were brand new, shiny, and a little bit stiff to operate to get into the um, into the screw. You turn them until it stops and then you back it off half a turn so it's free to move in any direction. You do the same on the other side and that side has actually had another towing eye fitted. Smart Tow modified the crash bar on the car to have another towing eye. So you've actually got two towing eyes. So if it's safe to recover it on one towing eye, it's definitely safe to recover it or pull it in this case using two, uh, two eyes. So there we go, just winding it on, and then you back it off half a turn. There I go, backing it off. And that's it. Now I had to do this filming, I had to do it in silent movie mode because someone was watching us in their van whilst they were draining their water, and I could hear the engine going all the time. So this is why I'm doing the talk over on this. A couple of D pins hold this uh, tone frame together. So you remove the D, the D pins and you slide the legs out on here. So first one leg, and then you put the D pin in there. And that just clips in place. Very simple, just clips around and it holds it in place. So it's very secure. Now it comes the other one. We're having problems with shadows here. We actually had some sunshine when we were filming this, would you believe? I think it's before the weather turn go and then the other d-clips are actually stored up the front there in the little holes there and these are the d-clips that fit to the to little tone brackets there and you put the the d d pins in there it's a little bit tricky to get these in there because they were quite stiff because they're new clip them in place and take the other d pin out there same thing on the other side you just lift it up, you put the, put the frame in there, jiggle it about a little bit, if that's a technical term. In it goes, clip it on, and that's the mechanical part of your, your A-frame all ready to go. Next bit is lining up, and this is where you discover you haven't quite got the car lined up. So what you do is you jump in the car and you turn the steering wheel and you pull the car. It's easy on a nice gentle slope, you just pull the car 
and it clips on and it drops on just like a caravan and just like a caravan you've got the electrics and they're stowed inside the bonnet pull them out and plug the electrics in there we go just plugging that in in it goes and you uh, then just need to close the bonnet I'm just going to close the bonnet but you need to make sure you don't trap the cable so it just route it around the little um, thing that stops your bonnet falling off I can't think what it's called <laughs> and drop the bonnet and it's secure there and then you you clip the cable just under the d-clips make it nice and tidy two d-clips make sure you've got a bit of slack at the at the front there and I've got a little bit of velcro strap well that's the cap that stops the water getting into the electrics when it's under the bonnet here's the velcro strap oops get it in there and just pull it tight make sure i don't tighten it so you can remember obviously you're going to be going around corners there so you don't want it too tight now this is the breakaway cable and unlike a caravan breakaway cable it doesn't have to be too strong because all it's doing is going to pull out a little electrical plug if the towing frame was to become disconnected now if that plug gets pulled out that applies the brakes on the car and the car will then stop even though your motor carries on going there's a little lock to secure it to uh, deter any opportunist thieves um, I think any thief who's determined enough will be able to steal it but remember the car is going to be locked when you've been when we're towing it so uh, they've got to get in there first and that's about it so Jenny does a little check I can see her in the rear view mirror she does, gives me the thumbs up we switch the unit on this is the little unit that controls the deceleration of the unit of, of the smart toe that's the thing that applies the brakes It's a vacuum operated uh, unit and it pulls against a cable that operates the main pedal under vacuum assistance now here we are this was uh, driving away you can hear this but what you'll hear is a unit buzzing away as you've got the foot on the brake now the unit only operates uh, if you've got your foot on the brake and if the vehicle is decelerating that little unit under underneath that I switched on uh, is a decelerometer and it operates, it sees the brakes, you're slowing down, the unit comes on, and again, just waiting for a chance to get out into the road. It's a very busy row. And this incidentally is me taking the, the motorhome for a service. I drove the car back whilst we left the motorhome uh, for a service. And uh, another advantage of taking a small car with you. Here's a nice little shot of us going along. We were on our way to Harrogate when we were here, so um, and it was sunny again. Yeah. And the car just follows along the motorhome really nicely. Um, hardly notice it's there. And there's our nice shiny A frame now. Right, so that's it for now. Um, just really wanted to sort of say that we've been using the car quite a bit for when we've been doing these uh, shows because it's been really useful, sort of nipping backwards and forwards to the show. And you don't really want to keep packing up the, the motor. It's different when you're on a, a big tour because, you, you know, you, you, you're going somewhere and it's the day out and you, you don't mind packing up. But if you're sighted somewhere for sort of four or five nights maybe, you don't really want to pack up every day and keep coming back to the same place. So having a car with you is brilliant. It does allow you to sort of nip in and out of town and, and uh, see the things that you want to see, do the things you want to do. Uh, and it, it's just, it is so useful having a car with you.
So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll catch up with you soon.